No judging now, but once upon a time, I was the teacher who loved to have a bucket of candies to give out as classroom rewards for elementary students. I honestly couldn't see the harm in it until one day I did. I am passionate about classroom management without rewards. While this may be controversial, I find classroom rewards for elementary students stressful. Initially, I tried classroom rewards because I love giving kids things and found many cute options with candy being a big hit. However, I realized individual classroom rewards did not align with my classroom management philosophy. Uh, money wasn't a concern for implementing classroom rewards for elementary students as I had a generous budget. Yet I couldn't imagine spending my own money on classroom rewards for elementary students if I was required to do that, as so many teachers are. There were no school-based rules against using a classroom reward systems, but it really didn't match my classroom management style, which depends on growth mindset and building relationships. Uh, I was so happy to be classroom rewards free. So here's why I avoided classroom rewards for elementary students. First of all, there's the environmental concern. As an outdoor enthusiast, I dislike accumulating plastic toys that are often used in classroom reward systems. Ineffective motivation, toys and coupons for classroom rewards rarely motivate students needing behavior remediation. There is the philosophical misalignment, which I've mentioned, and that's rewarding personal responsibilities with material rewards contradicts my passion for building a growth mindset. There are the logistical hassles, which is managing a reward system um, and the stress that that causes, especially, uh, I just found it was overwhelming for my brain. And of course, there are the health concerns associated with candy rewards for, some of them have gluten, all of them have sugar, and uh, that's not helping you or the student. Anyways, before I elaborate any more on this topic, let me introduce myself. Hey there, teachers. Marion Busfield here with Engaging Curiosity. Thanks so much for joining me here for one of my weekly videos. As a faith-led, retired classroom and SPED teacher, my passion is to support you on your journey to calm classroom chaos and elevate student engagement in ways that free up your time outside of the classroom. Despite my passion for teaching, my transition from learning support into the classroom filled me with fear and trepidation. I knew at least some of my weaknesses, and that left me with some imposter syndrome. Fortunately, as a former SPED coordinator, homeschool parent, and teacher, literacy interventionist, and program coordinator, and most importantly, wife to a high school teacher and mother of two, I brought decades of diverse experiences with me that I'm here to share with you. As I applied everything I learned, classroom management became a breeze and teaching became everything I had believed it could be. I have bolded it all down to five pillars of classroom management upon which everything else rests. To find out more about those five pillars of classroom management, download my free classroom management checklist. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get back to today's topic. Using games and interactive activities to practice content not only engages students, but also reinforces learning through play. This is a classroom reward for elementary students that creates lifelong value for your students. Practicing appropriate listening and empathy during conflict resolution helps students develop critical social emotional skills. Using and expecting affirmational languages establishes a positive and supportive classroom culture and is one of the most powerful classroom rewards for elementary students for sure, and all of us really. Instead of material rewards, focus on SEL by acknowledging students' social emotional growth and social skills. Praise them for showing empathy, teamwork and kindness, which are invaluable life skills. Build a strong classroom community by rewarding collective achievements. This can be through group activities, class celebrations, or special privileges that everyone enjoys together. This creates a sense of belonging and mutual respect. Reinforce classroom expectations by integrating them into daily routines and activities. 
use positive reinforcement to highlight students meeting those expectations, but avoid using material rewards which could undermine intrinsic motivation. So this would look something like, thank you so-and-so for getting your chair out quickly. I really appreciate you hanging your clothes up so neatly. Wow, you've really worked hard at coloring in all the white space on your art project. Simple, positive reinforcement. Keep your classroom organized to minimize stress and maintain focus. Implement systems that help students take responsibility for their environment, such as cleanup routines or task charts. These things can be rewarding on their own, in their own right, especially for those students who are very visual and really appreciate a tidy surrounding. Differentiate rewards by acknowledging individual students' strengths and efforts in a non-material way. Tailor positive feedback to meet each student's unique needs and progress, ensuring that all students feel valued and motivated. And uh, being uniquely seen is so important to our students. Anyways, before we continue, let me introduce myself. Hey there again. Thank you for spending this time with me. Just a reminder about the free classroom management checklist. Find the link in the description below. So here are a few classroom reward ideas, because if you're not using traditional rewards, you might not be sure what the alternatives can look like. Again, I've covered positive affirmations. Praise students spontaneously for good behavior. This is very rewarding to all of us as individuals, certainly for our students. Whole class rewards. You can offer extra playtime or let students plan a party. Sometimes it will be, you guys were amazing when we had that special guest speaker. We've now got a few minutes as they pack up. We've got a few minutes before recess. Thank you so much for your great choices. You may pull out dot, dot, dot. Or, hey guys, we've got that class party coming up. You guys have been working so well together. How about I help you, but you get to plan it. Um, and just acknowledgement as a reward. Affirm your students' achievements with words and responsibilities. You guys work so well together today. I've never seen you work so well in partnership. Now that I know that I can trust you to work respectfully together, could I give you this job to take to the office together? I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for all your hard work. So here's some other uh, class reward ideas. You could give them quick games after they've done a good solid cleanup. Reward them with a quick game. Say, guys, guys we got heads up seven up for three minutes or take active breaks so uh, sometimes at the end of a tough math block or when they've been reading for an, or writing for an extra 10 minutes I might say here's let's have a quick active break and sometimes in my situation it was accessible for the students to do a quick lap around the school they considered that quite a reward just to burn off some energy or um, during math, after particularly intense where they'd had to be patient with friends or with me or for whatever reason, or we'd gone longer than our usual uh, time in an instructive mode, which I really tried to avoid because of developmental abilities. Um, but I would do something like, okay, we need a break. And we would do skip counting to calisthenics and they would show a type of calisthenics and we'd do skip counting to that. That kind of thing. Love those kinds of rewards. Everyone will develop their own classroom management philosophy. My focus on classroom rewards for elementary students is on using intrinsic rewards such as growth mindset, self-esteem, self-control and executive functions essential for lifelong success. I encourage you to try these simpler classroom rewards for elementary students and see how they shift your classroom. Thanks for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon. One final thank you for sharing your time with me today. I want to encourage you that growth for a teacher is just like growth for a student, one step at a time. Be kind to yourself and congratulate yourself for each step forward that you take. You have been blessed with an amazing calling. The, the challenges are many, but I'm here to support you. You've got this. With my desire to walk with you in mind, I offer one last reminder. If you found this or any other video helpful, I encourage you to download the free classroom management checklist. Find the link in the description below. 
Thanks for joining me today, and I hope to see you soon. Bye now.